23 children rescued or 23 kids rescued. I don't think they should have put that headline up there because <laughs> the kids weren't rescued or were they? Listen, welcome back to SoFlo TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. Click the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time a new video goes up on SoFlo TV. This is a podcast listening style, so go ahead and get into the story. All right. According to the Jamaica Observer, 23 kids rescued, forced marriage, abusive treatment reported at Bayeth Yahweh premises. This is a premises in Jamaica, of course, that has, to the Jamaican people, seems like a cult. Now, you must remember the whole Kevin Smith thing just happened recently so people are triggered right but i want to say that the things that are happening inside of that place that they claim to have proof of are things that i don't think it was worth or anyways let me before i'll, I'll save my judgment and let's get into the story so montego bay st james 23 children are now in state care after being removed from the Bayeth Yahweh compound in St. James where there have been allegations of forced marriages and other abuses. What are the other abuses? Maybe they'll tell us, maybe they won't. For many residents of the Paradise Gardens community, the intervention was long overdue. The children, who are between 1 and 17 years old, they were taken before the St. James Family Court on Wednesday as the authorities moved to protect them. The police also reportedly detained a number of adults from the facility during the early morning operations. Commanding Officer for the Area 1 Police Assistant Commissioner Clifford Chambers told the Jamaica Observer that they were part. there were reports that a number of infractions, as outlined under Section 11 of the Child Care Protection Act, are suspected to have taken place at the compound. Suspected to have taken place at the compound. So, under suspicion is what they have removed these children from the home for. Not under factual findings, under suspicion. They are being forced into marriage once once they get to the age of 16 and they are being humiliated so the girls' heads are shaved if there were any issues, he said on Wednesday afternoon. Okay, let's stop right there for a second. There's more to the story, but stick around. I have to break this down piece by piece. See? For many residents of the Paradise community, the intervention was long overdue. The residents in the Paradise community, most of them are not allowed to enter this compound. It's not a compound that you can just walk up in. It's not like uh, how traditional church is done in Jamaica. You see a church, you like the church. Church is on Sunday or Saturday. You get dressed and you walk into church, right? Eventually, they'll probably have an altar call or you go introduce yourself or you start talking to members and you yourself become a member and you throw your tithes and offerings and your so-called get saved and do all these things. No invitation is required. However, for this particular group, an invitation is required in order to enter because they not only worship here, they also live here, right? Okay. They said that the children are between the ages of 1 and 17. The people in the community are spooked because they don't see them as a traditional church. I'll go ahead and say this and get it out of the way. In Jamaica, if you are not seen as a traditional church, then they're going to be very suspicious of you. You're going to be called a cult or anything else, right? Freedom of religion and freedom to worship in the way you choose does not actually mean that you actually get to do that in places like Jamaica. If you're not a Jewish synagogue or if you're not um, open to the public per se, then of course, extra scrutiny is going to be placed on top of you. Now, here's the thing. They detained a number of adults as well in the process and 
According to the Police Assistant Commissioner Clifford Chambers, he said that a number of infractions, as outlined under Section 11 of the Child Care and Protection Act, are suspected to have taken place at the compound. Suspected. Imagine if somebody came to your house under suspicion and removed all your children from your house and put them in state care under suspicion. Not proof, under suspicion. The part that got me is when they said that they are being forced into marriage once they get to the age of 16. Okay, one of the things we have spoken about on this channel for years now for is that the age of consent in Jamaica is 16. 16 meaning a 16 year old girl can go out and have sexual relations with a 35, 45, 55 year old man if she so chooses and legally by law she is seen as a consenting or consensual adult an adult with the power and the right to consent right anything below 16 is probably coercion or falls within the lines of rape right okay are you telling me that it's okay to encourage 16 year olds to have intercourse but it's not okay to encourage them to get married Hmm. Think about this for a second. Now, I know they are using the word forced and they have to use the word forced because one, they have already removed these people's children under suspicion, suspicion being the operative word and not under proof and facts. And now they're saying they are forced into marriage once they get to the age of 16. And I want to know which one of the young ladies or young men up there told them that they were forced into marriage. I want to see a couple that is married now that says, yes, I am from there. And no, I did not want to get married, but they forced me to. Because here's the thing. If you're going to say the age of consent for Jamaica is 16 and you're going to allow all these young girls to go out here and get pregnant at 16 thinking they're grown women because they now have the right to consent, then what you are encouraging is single motherhood. The record shows majority of I have never heard of a 16 year old walking down the aisle in Jamaica. Um, getting married as a teenage mom in traditional Jamaica Christian religion um, way they just get pregnant and oftentimes the guy that gets them pregnant either hides or doesn't stick around to help take care of the child right right so being in an organized way sect whatever you want to call them group some people call them cult if encouraging marriage at 16 works for them, then I would be all for it too, right? Because 16 is already the age of consent on the island. Different strokes for different folks. There are certain places in uh, Africa and other countries across the world where they are married at a younger age than 16 to include India and places in the Middle East through arranged marriages, etc., etc. right? Okay. Okay, so he added that there have also been reports that formal education has been withheld from school-aged children and youngsters were being housed in a communal living space that is not conducive to their well-being. Whatever that means. Maybe they may be living in a barracks-like situation, multiple beds in one room, and uh, formal education, meaning the school system in Jamaica, you know, your child is supposed to go to school and if you can't send them to school, then they're supposed to be homeschooled, right? But some education needs to be going on where a child is concerned. And that is one of the concerns that they have, which I'm all for that, con uh, that as well. But the people might have their own homeschooling system going on again this is all under suspicion when the observer visited paradise gardens on wednesday morning 
Residents eagerly shared their concerns about the facility that has often attracted negative attention to the area. Most of them choose not to provide their names. Now listen, this is how the media paints them, right? That they attract negative attention to the area. Negative attention to the area has always been brought to these people by Jamaica's media and Jamaica's law enforcement. Negative attention has never been brought by the people themselves. They're not up there flinging rock stone at other people's house. They're not up there uh, making a whole bunch of noise so people can't go to sleep. They're not up there jumping the compound walls and going outside to fight other people within the community. They stick to themselves. So for the media to portray them as a group that always brings negative complaints or negative vibes to the community is so unfair. One woman in the community now, and you know how Jamaican people stay. From them not like you, them are going to talk all kind of foolishness. Oh, my spirit just not like him. Don't take him. Me not like him. Why? Well, me not know him. My spirit just not take him. One woman said that she has long been concerned about how the young girls were interacting with older men. In other words, she had watched them. I always see the kids, like maybe 10 or 12 years old, passing with some gentlemen. And they are holding them like they are their wives. I would always ask myself why the authorities don't step in to see what is going on down there. Hmm. Okay. I myself have been in Jamaica and I've seen and I've I've said this over the years. Back in the day when I was growing up, we always had those men that used to look upon the little girl them and we would see them, but then nowadays things are different. Nowadays, when I go to Jamaica, I see grown men, big man with gray in a them beard, and some little young girl. They might be 16, 17, but they look like 13, 14. See? Now, here's a person out in the community. I always see the kids, like maybe 10 or 12 year old. How you know, said them about 10 or 12 year old? How you know that they're not just small in stature and look very young in the face? Eh? There's 25 year old women out here who look like they're 17 and 18, right? There's 35 year old people out here who look like they're teenagers, 19 and 20. So how you know that? But there they go again, passing judgment and reigning in the law on these people. Out in Jamaica's traditional society, you, it's not hard to find young girls hanging out with young men. And the man hold them up and color them up in public and go on in like, is them wife same way? And guess what? The people out there can't tell them nothing. Cause the girl will tell you for mind your business. And the rest of the people them will tell you, say, AJ ain't nothing but a number. Right? Okay. And if you allow people business and mind your own man, leave the people and make them live them life. Don't it? Right. So how come things are different now when dealing with these people? She also expressed concerns about sanitation at the compound. This is what her concern was. Frequent scenes of children fetching water from a nearby pipe appear to indicate that there might be no running water inside the residence. Miras, I grew up in Clarendon in a time when little little picnic a four or five year old we have to go to stand pipe with a little bottle. And if you're bigger, the bigger teenagers would have carried them bucket upon them head. And then we would have to go down a spring. And we had days where we would go fill the drums around the house. So it would take multiple trips to fill these drums. If they saw us back then, they probably would have said the same thing, right? That uh, <laughs> there are sanitation concerns at the house. That's weird. Very weird. Because again, in regular Jamaican society, there are a lot of houses that don't have running water per se running through the house flush toilet and uh turn on the bathtub and all these other things right the government themselves has not equipped every community in jamaica with running water so sanitation concerns because you see children fetching water from a nearby pipe that's another one that is weird i hope these people have a good lawyer now, for area resident James Montague, 
Wednesday's intervention by the police, the Child Protection and Family Service Agency, CPFSA, and supporting agencies was long overdue again. Another one, it's full time now that somebody take care of the children them that are over there, is what he said. He said he has long viewed the establishment with suspicion after what appeared to be a power struggle there. Mind you, there's a lot of females over there and most naturally, a lot of the Jamaican man them that's outside of that establishment, they can't get to any of these females. You know how Jamaican man stare at make we keep it real, right? Yo, the one they round, you know, dog. All the next one they watch are pretty and brown, you know. But the fat and everything, you can't see it. But guess what? You can't speak to them and they can't touch them. They're off limits. So what does the fox say about the grapes when the fox cannot get the grapes after trying so hard? The morass grip, the sour. Or sour grip them. They curse the grapes, right? <laughs> Anyhow. He said that he has long viewed the establishment with suspicion after what appeared to be a power struggle there. This is more rumors then. I understand that they manhandled the man who was there and them take over. Then started to do things that a church doesn't normally do. A church is supposed to be an open place for people to attend and come to know God for themselves. But they are doing it differently. They shut in. So you can't just walk in, is what he said. He would love to just walk in, but him can't, right? Now again, they are not running their establishment like a traditional church where no invitation is required. You just show up and say, oh, me like the church here, and I come back next Sunday, or me come back next Saturday. They are shut in because they are a organization on top of that, if you want to call them a religious group. Yes, they worship together, but they also live within their compounds. Do you leave your house door open for everybody to just walk in? The answer is no. So the Baith Yahweh group is no stranger to controversy, according to this report, as they have long been concerns over that place behind its chained gates. Everybody want to know what's behind the chain gates. They are curious. So they get happy when the police run in and raid up the place because they get to see some of what's going on behind those gates, right? Anytime people don't know something, they start making up things of what it might be. And you know the human mind can run wild with imagination. Montague told the Jamaica Observer that he believes that the authorities followed its operations to go on for too long. I think they waited too long. It is not a church. It is much more like a cult than anything else. A female resident said that she is eager to see the back of the controversial compound. You see that? She wants to see everything. She is eager to see the back of the controversial compound. Since that is what they are carrying on with down there, I think it should be removed. She added that after the police carried out an operation at the facility in 2019, members of the Bayeth Yahweh group tend to keep a low profile in a bid to not attract outside attention. These people were always low profiled. Police running there 2019 did the same thing to them before and nothing came of it. Now we're in 2023, they're doing the same thing to them again. Here's a next person talking. These are people out of road, you know. A lot of young girls used to pass by, but since the police came here the last time, I haven't seen many of them. They said that the government moved some of them from the property, the elder woman explained. An attempt by the observer to speak to a woman and a man that were seen on the Bayeth Yahweh property was met with resistance. They don't want to speak to the media and they have all right to because the media is known to take things and twist it into their own narrative. Now on seeing journalists, the woman who was covered from head to toe in a purple garment ran towards the building on the property. Imagine being a woman covered from head to toe in Jamaica where Sex is the order of the day. Woman batty off it out, pum pum off it print up, shape off it, a shoe, shirt, skirt off a shot. Women have to be accessible 
to be considered women and beautiful and sexy and all these things so of course they are completely the opposite and it's frightening imagine that so a man who emerged from the rear of the structure he forcibly declined requests for a comment i don't know how you forcibly decline somebody wants to talk to you and you reject that you says no i don't have any time to speak right now um or i would not like to speak to you thank you bye they put the word forcibly for if i say i came into your house forcibly it mean me broke down one of your door them or i forced your door open while you were trying to keep it shut right listen to the wording they use for these people this is what i call persecution right so the group is under persecution we are not interested in releasing a statement is what the person told them how is that forcibly i would not like to talk to you right now and we are not interested in releasing a statement we are not interested in the media that's that that should be understood and respected there is no requirement to speak to the media Montego Bay is no stranger to controversial groups that claim to practice religion. The nation was shocked in October of 2021 when police stormed Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries to prevent human sacrifices being performed at the behest of the organization's leader, Kevin Smith. One woman's throat was slashed as part of the ritual. Another of Kevin Smith's followers was stabbed shot in his back and an, at an attempt was made to cut his throat during the mayhem inside of the building in albion st james cops shot dead a believer who ran towards them with a knife and we remember the story where the young man gave the testimony that kevin smith told him that he has armed him with his cloak and they can't do nothing to him and none of the gunshots could touch him so go out there and take them on and they believed <laughs> the member said them used to call him god almighty himself and they believed that he was the almighty god those are the people that they were supposed to be paying attention to but guess what the yahweh people they don't have any politicians police um, law enforcement officials in their organization so they are being targeted listen to me you know kevin kevin smith had all these people politicians law enforcement officials of high ranking business people uh, of high stature all belong to his organization and that is the reason why he did not come under persecution and was able to flourish in Jamaica for so long until things got really, really bad. And then as they say, a last minute them running when people up there slash throat and stab up people and uh, shoot people and at his feet, at his demand. This is not the case with these people. They will try to use that, but I'll repeat this again the yahweh people that they just ran in and took away their children based on suspicion and not proof these people don't have any members that are law enforcement that are polit political people are people of politics like politicians any big wigs in their organization kevin smith did and you see how his turned out right Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries was located within walking distance of where Bayeth Yahweh compound is. I don't know why I'm going to put that out there, but I don't think so. The last thing I will say is this. These children are placed in uh, government care, state care. Is this the same state care system that we have heard horror stories about a young lady recently detailed her sufferings through the state care system and she did it on video and she was not afraid to call names people are concerned for her and are saying that she should be protected because of the names she's calling she might end up dead police officers having their ways with her sexually as a teenager and her little friends as well and everybody they ran to would use them sexually and these kind of things so is this is this the same government care system that they want to take these people children and put them into 
that sounds like out of the frying pan and into the fire for me. Leave your comments in the comment section below and don't be triggered. Use logics. I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.